What to my interest, a topic of a great debate is something that can change your life have in common. That is nutrition. My great grandfather, he was an amazing baker and he made the most delicious food, the most delicious sourdough breads and also pastries. My granddad, he had an organic farm. And he chose organic in the 60s and the 70s because he thought that it was better for the soil, the crops, and also for the humans and the animals. He was pretty ahead of his time. This was my granddad. <laughs> it was a newspaper from 1970. He was pretty ahead, and he was also pretty uh, like a, a hipster, as you can call it. <laughs> he did already yoga in the 70s and the 80s and he inspired me a lot. So this is my grandma, and she thought everything that my mother offers contains all the vitamins and nutrition that, my bo that our body needs. So my mom grew up in that kind of environment, very aware, and my dad got inspired as well. So my sister and I, we grew up in the same kind of environment, very conscious. And I think this is what happens when you normalize a topic like nutrition. Way of, it's a way of life. It creates awareness and it becomes unconscious a part of your lifestyle. So it becomes normal. So as a result, I started working in an obesity clinic. And I made my website. And after that, I did courses and had my own practice and uh, wrote four cookbooks. So, I was thinking, it's so normal for me, so why shouldn't I share this with everybody? But everyone has a different opinion about healthy food, because what is it? You have a different opinion about it, you have a different opinion about it, and me too. I think that healthy food is our whole foods and unprocessed food that makes your body happy. So when I say whole, I mean eating food that still looks as it gets growing in nature, are very close to it. So food that not has been messed with or minimally messed with. So when I say happy, I think that it's eating variety of food that gives you the nutrition you need to maintain your health, feel good, and have energy. This is where I grew up. This is a nice garden. <laughs> this is me right now. So, but what is the right way? And why does it matter? It prevents diseases, you get more energy, you sleep better, it can lead better to a better performance of your mind and body, so you become more happy. And overall, a better quality of life. And who doesn't want that, right? Everyone wants that. So, but like I said, what is the right way? There are three elements which I think that are important to start eating healthy. And they are create awareness, quality over quantity, and also being positive. Talking about create awareness, I always think it's really good to have a clear and honest picture of what you're eating. So what I usually do is to go to the grocery store and look at the ingredient list. What you can do is just make a food schedule for just one week, and just after that, you can just look and see what you've been eating. So awareness, I think that's really important. And then you have quality over quantity. Everyone knows that quality is better, so it gives you the best nutrition. And then number three, that is positivity. When I'm cooking, I enjoy it. I love it. I dance in the kitchen and just have fun with my friends and cook with them. I think those things are so important. Don't look at the, that you can, what you can eat, but look at what you can eat. So look at the, don't look at the don'ts. So just have fun and just be flexible 
And I think balance is also a key. So, but why aren't we do this if it sounds so easy? I mean, we all have those resources, everyone. It's called time, money, and support. Let's talk about time. I mean, you probably think that I have the best all the time in the world to, to cook, of course, but I still need to plan. And when I'm on the road, I make sure I always have my food prepped. So, but what I'm trying to say, I'll make time. So what I always suggest to everyone else is that you should just make the time. It should be in your healthy lifestyle. So, and then money. When I grew up, I didn't really have that much money. My parents um, were, had like four jobs sometimes, and um, my mom drove, and my dad as well, 20 kilometers to go to the healthy store to buy something because he thought it was better for us. So what I'm trying to say is we didn't really have as much, but she made the priority to eat healthy. And then number three is support. Set up an environment that works for you instead of against you. Make sure you create people around you that, you, that understand you. Be very open, that, that are very open-minded. I think that number three, I think that is really important as well. So focus on that you have people that support you, that understand you. So if it's not a priority, eating healthy. What is? It's a choice and it's about setting priorities. With a little bit of commitment, your focus will start to become contagious. You just want to keep on going. You're just like, yeah, I feel great. It's so amazing. And what looks in the beginning like a mountain will shift to a hill and then you realize it's, it's like flat land. And you think like, wow, it's never been a mountain, but it's a mindset. 70% of today's diseases are lifestyle related based on everyday choices we make. You have the power to change this. What choices will you make? Thank you.